Welcome back to Planet Skyblock. Last time we took a look at the axe of the shredded Enjoya and its commendable melee prowess. Today we'll be visiting a rather young region, discovered just a year ago, the Dwarven Mines. While we've never set foot in here before, we do know that the creatures that inhabit it are very different from species in other regions. They don't focus on combat nearly as much and instead choose to mine rare minerals and gems, which don't actually seem that rare at all. I mean there's literally so many of them here, uh, and they regenerate. That's not how it's supposed to work. Anyhow, out of the few species that inhabit this environment, we are searching for the most extravagant of them all. The caveman species who has never heard of trees, crops, or god forbid, alchemy. The primitive Divanon. Divanons have chosen to give up practically everything in favor of having by far the best mining capability out of all currently known species. They mine using a powerful drill and are addicted to snorting mithril and gemstone powder alike, which boosts their mining prowess to even greater heights. To further emphasize how little they care about everything else, here we can see a Divanon's skills. Truly marvelous. There exist two different variants of the Divanon. The first of these inhabits the Dwarven Mines, and mines mithril all day. Without a doubt, their biggest fear is titanium. Even with the Divanon's meaty mining speed stat, it still takes an eternity to mine it, and ignoring it forever is not an option. Once it completes its daily mining, it goes on to bargain with Boo Boo at his shop. The Divanons always want a better price, but Boo Boo ends up lowering the enchanted mithril down to the same 1600 coins every single time, before forging it into refined mithril and selling it on the secondary market. In short, Boo Boo is a fucking scammer. Afterwards, the Divanon goes to the tavern to relax after a long day of work, typically with other Divanon friends since every other species hates them. While mithril mining divanons exist, they number much lower than their gemstone mining counterpart. These are truly impeccable creatures. Okay, shut up Mr. Narrator. Did you know that there is a cool button below this video? How about you press it real quick, see what happens, and then press this one as well. Please? Okay, back to the show now. That stupid Pauliner really cut me off. How dare he! You know what? I quit! Hello! I'm the narrator's identical twin brother, Barrator. <laughs> and I will be replacing him from now on, as he's already on a plane to the Bahamas. Where were we? Ah yes, the gemstone mining Divanon. These fellas dwell even deeper than their mithril mining brothers, in the Crystal Hollows. While not all mine the same gems, most of them choose the magma fields as their home, mining rubies and topaz all day. Although less common, you can also find them mining jade in the mines of Divan, and sapphire in the Precursor Remnants, again all day long. All they do is mine. While the Crystal Hollows are rather peaceful, as the creatures that inhabit it aren't very strong, it isn't exactly 100% safe either. Danger can always be lurking just around the corner. As other species aren't particularly fond of Divanons, they often grieve their caves for no reason other than hatred. Here we can see a currently unidentified creature griefing the Divanon by bombing its entire cave. Tragic. Divanons aren't particularly intelligent though, so sometimes they will try to mine a fellow Divanon's gems, 
which usually results in a tremendous waste of time for both parties, and the inevitable circus of explosions at the end. Much like the Mithril Mining Brethren, they will also usually sell their goods to Boo Boo, but sometimes when the value of a gem rises above Boo Boo's buy price, they will actually go outside and touch gra- uh, I mean sell it on the bazaar. Divanons as a whole mainly want money. In fact, a lot of them don't even enjoy mining, and as soon as they accumulate enough wealth to purchase what their hearts desire, they begin their evolution process into a different species altogether, with two of their most common evolutions being the Hyperion and Terminon. While they can purchase virtually anything they want, and are usually smart enough not to overestimate their combat potential, they lack the experience once they evolve. Even after evolving, they can make trivial blunders simply due to not having time to properly adjust to their new lifestyle. But after a while, they grasp the extent of their newfound power and utilize it just as well as any other specimen would. However, the Divanon's evolution process rarely ever ends there. They will often run out of money soon after evolving and devolve into a Divanon once more. Predictably, after acquiring enough wealth, they will evolve back and so on. This cycle can repeat itself many times. We interrupt this program for breaking news. This just in, the asteroid approaching the Catacombs Master Mode has been split in two by an exceedingly powerful mage beam. While one part is still en route to hit the master mode floors, the other has been launched into a different direction at incredible speeds, and is scheduled for impact soon. Damn. It is headed straight for the Crystal Hollows and will very likely decimate the Divanon population once it hits. Many species are rejoicing, saying that the economy will finally be saved from inflation at the hands of the Divanons. I just don't think that Hyperion should cost a billion coins. We work day and night to farm, but getting that much is, well, seemingly impossible. Oh, oh dear, that's not good for our golden boys. However, not all hope is lost, as the Divanons have taken on a similar terror before and lived to tell the tale. So we'll see if they manage to persevere once more. Divanons are the definition of a one-trick pony, but luckily for them, their one trick is incredibly valuable. Mining all day to obtain immense wealth, they carry on for as long as they must, and their persistence and tenacity can only be described as admirable. Thanks for watching, and as always, join us next time as we take a look at another incredible species in the ecosystem that is high pixel skyblock.